All right, good morning, everybody. I just got off of a 12-hour night shift, and here's the beautiful sunrise. Um, I just got to the gym. Here is my gym. Here's me. Hey. So first, I'm starting out with um, biceps. Today's a bicep and back day. Um, I just like to start out with these curls to get my biceps warmed up. Um, I do these until I feel good just to prevent, you know, um, going straight into the workout and not being warmed up. Uh, I did not record while I stretched, um, but I did stretch. I used a pole to like stretch out my shoulders and my arms. Um, so here's me doing standing curls. I do them sitting and then I do them standing. Um... These feel really good just to get everything activated so that when I'm actually in the workouts, I feel them the way I'm supposed to feel them. Um, these work really good for that. So here I am doing lateral pull downs. Um, now these, I've been trying to perfect my form for a very long time. Um, I think that I'm getting better at it. I think it's just important that I engage my core while I do it because... I was feeling it more in my arms, but I feel like when I engage my core, I feel it where I'm supposed to feel it, which is in my back. You can see in this um, video that my back is engaging pretty well in these. They could have been more controlled, don't get me wrong, um, but my body was pretty fatigued after my shift, um, so this is, this is what we're going to get today. Um, you can also see a little bit better at this angle how I am squeezing my shoulder blades together. So that's what you want to do. At the end of this mo movement, um, you should feel a squeeze between your shoulder blades and then you should slowly let the bar back up. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. Now next, we're going to do, I forget what these are called, but they're very similar to curls. Um, I feel like they're just very isolated. Um, it isolates your muscles, so you're really just working those biceps. When I tell y'all, I could not add any weight to this bar. Like, the isolation of the muscle was crazy. Like, you could probably see my face in this struggling through the workout. Um, but anyways, that's besides the point. Yeah, see, that rep was a little, little shaky. Um, but it's okay. We got it together, and I felt the burn for real. Um, at first, I thought that my form was wrong because it was kind of painful, but I realized that I just needed to slow down the movement and make sure I was engaging my core um here i'm doing i just i call these chest pulls i mean they don't work out your chest but you're pulling to your chest cable pulls sorry i can't remember what they are called um but i'm trying to do these as controlled as possible and then let my arms all the way to the front um to get that stretch and here i am adjusting the weight i feel like sometimes when the weight is too light I don't necessarily feel it, especially when I'm doing back workouts. Um, sometimes you need a little bit heavier of a weight so that your back has to be the one lifting it and you don't compensate in other parts of your body. Um, so here I am just making sure my posture is straight. Um, you want your shoulders back, chest out. And I could have been more controlled in this too now that I'm looking at it. Um, but I still think it was pretty good for just getting off of a 12-hour shift. Um, here's another view. Oh, yeah, period. Yeah, the back was giving. Um, maybe I didn't need to stretch so far forward, but that stretch felt good. Um, these, my form actually looks better than I thought it did, period. Here's me being a goofy. Um, I'm still doing the same um, workout movement. I really like these. I like doing these, and then I like also doing the lateral pull downs one after the other. Doesn't really matter what order to me, but I just feel like my back is really engaged after these two workouts. And I get a nice burn in my back, which I feel like your back is one of the hardest places to really feel the burn in a workout. Um, so, yeah, these workouts get it done for me. Here's me struggling. Let's see, <laughs> I was definitely struggling. Um, now I'm going to do these bent over rows. Please correct me on my form. My form could use work. Um, I've had some people say to bring it back to the hip. Some people say bring it straight up. Some people say bring it over, like kind of how I'm doing. But I don't know. Um, give me your feedback. Let me know if my form looks good. This is sped up, so 
the form it looks like I'm going fast but I'm not um, here I am doing this is my all-time ultimate favorite back workout um, face pulls now I do face pulls standing up I do face pulls sitting down look how that back is engaging it engages my back it engages my arm I really feel the burn from this workout um, like I said it's pretty hard for me to feel the burn during a back workout but this one right here oh I felt the burn um, so for all of these workouts I'm doing like progressive overload sets just like I do when I do um, leg days um, so I usually start out with about 10 reps at a weight that you know I feel like I can do 10 reps at and then I'll up the weight and go down to 8 reps and then I'll up the weight and go down to 6 and depending on what the workout is sometimes I'll start at 12 reps go down to 10 then go down to 8 or even sometimes 15 12 and 10 so all depending on the workout um, here I am doing assisted pull-ups um, these feel really good I can't wait till I can do a real pull-up guys I'm gonna be so excited um, but for now we have these assisted pull-ups and this is also sped up so it looks a little faster than what it is now it's time for core um, so here I am doing core I like doing bicycles I feel like they um, really engage my core and also anything where I'm extending my legs and bringing them back into me I feel like that's a really good core workout um, personally I find it very difficult to do good core after I while I'm working out after a shift just because I feel like my core is so fatigued from my job and what I do since I work in the hospital I'm lifting people I'm bending over I'm doing a lot of physical work at work um, so when I get to the gym I'm a little tired As you can see in that last clip, that was me trying to teach Anna a new core exercise um, that I used to do in high school. The football coach would have me do it in high school. And when I tell you that core workout gives me the best burn of my life. Um, but here I am doing Russian twists with a, um, a weighted ball. Though Russian twists, I feel like they're just an essential to any core workout. Um, and here I am stretching. I like to do the butterfly stretch and then stretch both legs. Even though today wasn't a leg day, it is always important to stretch, stretch, stretch. Keep your body loose. You don't want anything tightening up. Um, I used to be a lot more flexible in high school. I'm still pretty flexible now, but I'm just working on getting better hip mobility um, for squatting and things like that. And overall, just making sure that I don't injure myself. That's a huge part of stretching is prevention of injury. Um... So here I am just getting a really good stretch. This stretches out my hip flexors really well. Um, I haven't found another stretch that does it the same way this one does. Um, and then here I am stretching out my groin and also my hips. Um, this also, this stretch adds to hip mobility as well. I do this before I do squats on leg day. Um, and here I am just stretching it out. So yeah. Um, here comes my closing statements. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. See you next time. All right, guys. I just finished my workout. I'm with Anna. Um, <laughs> she did, um, what'd you do? Quads and calves. Yes. Anna did quads and calves, and I did buys and back. Um, I feel pretty good about my workout. I've had better, I've had worse, but I feel like this was solid. Um, I did just get off a 12-hour night shift so that plays a part too my body's a little fatigued anna how do you think your workout went good that <laughs> good period <laughs> um so yeah we are going to maybe go get some smoothie bowls um from this place in our city so i might bring you guys with me i don't know um but yeah um stay tuned for more workout videos and hit that subscribe button to follow me on my journey and come with me